Lady Cher here from No Facts Giving Crew. All right, beautiful people. So this is going to be um, a Divine Feminine reading for June the 17th until the 27th. So I'm doing a slightly extended reading um, only because I want to try and get as many privates in um, in this next week as I can because I'm going on holidays from the 8th until around the 20th of July. Uh, my oldest son is getting married. So if you want to book a reading now would be a good time to do that because um, I will be unavailable. All right. So I'm going to be doing a divine partnership reading, but it's going to be a split divine partnership uh, using the John Holland and my own deck for clarifiers. So I'm just going to pull one clarifier per position. Um, try and keep this video as short as I possibly can. Okay, so uh, beginning with how you view uh, the relationship with your Divine Masculine. You feel locked out, trapped in fear. So this showed up in kind of the first, the future past position for the Twin Flame reading. It also showed up as uh, a final outcome for the Masculine. So for me, um, this is an oppressive energy coming from the outside. So it's a feeling of being locked out. Um, and it's not by choice, right? Somebody's doing this to you, but you're choosing to believe that you're in that mental prison. Yeah, two of cups. So you feel locked out of this spiritual union. This is uh, a deep love shared between twin flames. It's recognition of your twin. Uh, so the heart chakra is activated, which activates the third and crown chakra. And then, like I said before, it's beautiful energy exchange and um, the, uh, the heart chakra is the motor that drives spirituality. So um, you desire this connection. You want to be with your twin flame, but you're locked out of it. What are you resisting? Four of swords, rest and rejuvenation. So this is retreating from that mental noise. So you're resisting meditating, finding peace, solitude, so that you can heal your heart, find mental clarity, make decisions about the 3D. Three of Cups, so this is reunion, or union energy, sorry. Um, but for me, this is more of an ignition switch. So, um, you know, this is meeting somebody and falling in love with them. So that, that energy of love is created from this union. So this card represents celebrating that love. Um, and having that energy moving through you, flowing through you, as represented by this card as well. Um, and so it enlightens you. It makes you realize that you're connected to something much larger than yourself. You are on this earth to love. That is our purpose, love, okay? Not to make money, not the 3D world, not spirituality, none of that bullshit. It is love, plain and simple, okay? Anything else is... Um, you know, a condition, a projection of the 3D world. So meditate, retreat, um, and heal your heart. Message from higher self. Destiny's knocking on your door. So again, you know, there's a feminine here. Open yourself up. Stay open. Don't close um, yourself off to the connection. So this is good luck, good fortune, um, but it represents a completion of a cycle. Okay, so things will turn in your favor. Seven of Pentacles, uh, gestation period. So this is waiting for your harvest, waiting for the ships to return. While doing a lot of work in the past, uh, now is a time for reevaluation. So while this shift occurs, you're being asked to detach, find solitudes, and, um, you know, just meditate. Just... Uh, you know, plan for the future, but don't have any expectations about it. Okay, see where you've made mistakes in the past so you don't make those mistakes in the future. So, destiny is no, is knocking on your door. Okay, just um, chill, act, please. All right, so what's in your past position? Magician, awareness. So, um, this is a very powerful card. It's a number one. So, it's an activation. It comes after the fool. So, this is having the power to create the reality that you desire. Okay, so in the Twin Flame reading, there was um, 
shifting a perspective on the feminine side. Um, so this is a reminder that you can create the reality uh, and environment um, of your dreams. So that started in the past. You felt empowered. We got crown chakra activation here. Five of swords. So this is conflict, arguing, drama, negative energy, finger pointing. Um, so what I feel here is that there was a situation where you might have felt drawn to engage in some form of negative conflict, um, whether it was directed towards you or you directed it towards somebody else, but either way, um, it was dissolved. It was um, transmuted from this negative into a positive energy because the, the main position card is the magician okay this is just a confirmation so there's it's like something agitated you to the point where you said okay fuck it um i'm not going to concentrate on on you anymore i'm not going to worry about your drama anymore i desire this life for myself and i'm going to manifest this so there was that um movement towards okay instead of being drawn into negative present position truth judgment card so this is the grand awakening card for me it is realizing your life is just that movie projected in your own mind so it's a rebirth it is a destruction of your old life um, and rising from the ashes all right so again awareness of this 3d world is an illusion okay even though you can see it it isn't real okay it's just atoms neutrons you know it's just energy vibrating at different frequencies but we are um, relating it relating to it as material matter okay we are all energetic beings this is just energy um, so whatever stories you have in your mind about wood or paper or fire um, you know these are inventions of uh, of man so you've attached emotions and thoughts to um, you know these illusions so again it's realizing that you have a power to create your own reality um, and you know it's it's almost like I, I feel like your soul is being cleansed right now cleansed of the negative so this represents truth and it's also reevaluation uh card very similar to the four swords so and the sorry the the seven pentacles as well so it's reevaluating your past see where you've made the mistakes um a decision or direction is required and again you're being asked to weigh um weigh the decision Eight of Swords, there you go. You can release yourself from that mental prison. It's just an illusion. Same card. Okay, future position. Wow, Nine of Swords, suffering in silence. Dang. So the feminine is really taking on... Uh, a lot of negative thoughts, but the Nine of Swords... You know, that's the nine means you're it's coming to completion and nearing the end of this suffering, this this fear, this anxiety, stress, inability to sleep at night. Yes, six of wands, success, victory. Girls, you're gonna be a rock star, okay? So hang in there, you're on the right spiritual path. Um all I keep seeing is detach, detach, detach. You uh, have the power to change your perspective if there's a lot of negative energy surrounding you um, find that peace that stillness and look after yourself okay because rewards are coming towards you in the future um, this is illumination this is spirit saying that um, we see you we see the work you've done and because of that uh, good things are coming message from the universe wow there you go the universe is telling you to be the divine feminine tap into those goddess qualities and live them okay stop worrying about other people stop worrying about your masculine 
um, now is a time for self-care. Okay, she is um, a woman who loves nature, who, um, she's the ultimate mother card, okay, okay so it's nurturing, um, uh, caring, uh, you know, planting those seeds of intention and nurturing them so they'll grow into, you know, fruitful tr um, harvest. Uh, this also has to do with manifestation as well, very similar to the magician. So she births things into the 3D world. She is a creator. Four of Swords again. So you're resisting, um, uh, disconnecting. So Spirit or Source is telling you to do that, to disconnect, find that stillness. Um, take a canoe trip, go hiking. Um, whatever it is, don't be in this state anymore. Release yourself. Okay, so um, external environment, Three of Swords, there we have it. The masculine again. Um, he had this card in his present position, so the masculine uh, is feeling a lot of pain um, and is going through the dark night of the soul currently. Um, so send him love. Um, and support good, you know, send him good vibrations uh, and allow him to move through that energy on his own. Don't attach it as something that is yours. Remember, the Eight of Swords is an oppressive energy from the outside. It's not your energy, but you're choosing to, you know, allow it to attach to you. So again, you know, that sadness is coming from the masculine. So um, be careful with that. Here we go. Ten of uh, Wands. Again, this showed up in the masculine reading. So this is nearing the completion of feeling, you know, the, that heartbreak. So uh, this is being caught in the machine, exhaustion, taking on too many burdens. Um, and so it's completion of that ending. Um, no more. It's done. So, the, like I said before, the masculine is uh, moving through the fire. Imagine the ten wands. It's like a blaze, burning man kind of energy. So, I feel, definitely feel um, it's ending soon. What do you fear? Surrender, sacrifice, the hangman. So, this was a you know has been a very strong energy for the feminine the past couple of weeks. Hangman, surrender, let go of control, but there's a sense of you still being submerged in this emotional, um, murky water, okay? But at the same time, you are still connected to source, your crown chakra activated here. So it's almost like you're being pulled into different directions. Once again, that scattered energy. So um, don't be afraid to surrender and let go of that worry, okay? Again, if you feel off balance, uh, and you try to resist the change uh, that's occur in, occurring in your environment, you will feel uh, trapped. So surrender to it and try to see things from a different perspective. King of Pentacles. That's interesting because the Queen of Pentacles, I think, showed up in the masculine reading. So um, this is a desire to be with your masculine in, in the 3D. So it could represent an earth energy or, um, or independence. Um, but again, this is someone who's wealthy, who has a lot of abundance, but doesn't place value on it. It's just, you know, being surrounded by people that you love. So again, there's this desire to be with your masculine in the 3D, but spirit is asking you to surrender to any thoughts that you might have about the connection, period. Okay, so I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the overall, oh wow, two of cups, okay. Same card. So you feel locked out of it, but know on a deep level that um, the person you think is your twin flame is indeed your twin flame. And to concentrate on this energy, okay? Uh, concentrate on the love, that, uh, that flow of love between the two of you. And um, yeah, so just know that the masculine loves you very deeply. He loves you as much as you love him. 
and the disconnect is hurting him just as much as it's hurting you. So allow the masculine to go through that dark night and, like I said, give him um, reassuring, loving energy. All right, so I'm going to pull one card from Myths and Mermaids for final message from the universe. Microcosm Seascape. So I'll show it to you. Whoa. Okay, so storms are brewing or o'er the quay ships a tossing out at sea dark and dreary nimbus cloud forms a hard and heavy shroud oh what turmoil turmoil rocks the waves threatening men with early graves but i can watch without alarm and i know the scene means me no harm yes exactly this scene is not yours a wide-eyed maiden with ivy Ivy draped hair holds in her arms a glass orb enclosing a miniature seascape complete with sailing ships. Although it appears a storm is rolling in, Our Lady knows she is safe on the outside of the carefully contained scene. Uh, so the message, out of harm's way, some day soon you will bear witness to a traumatic event, but do not fear, you are safe. Although upsetting, the up coming turmoil is removed enough from your person that you will not suffer directly. When the storm arrives, you may feel powerless, but accept that there is nothing you can do. Some things are outside of your control and simply have, and you simply have to stand by and watch that, watch them transpire. So that's exactly what I was feeling in the reading. You know, whatever's happening with the masculine is not yours um, or whatever's happening in your environment is not your energy so um, know that you are safe uh, and um, surrender I just keep hearing surrender okay send your love and uh, everything worked out fine alright so let me know if this resonated girls love you peace